Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Chapter 1, Video 6, 1.9 Unit Vectors. The objectives are to know the definition of a unit vector, to be able to represent any vector in terms of unit vector i, j, k, to be able to calculate vector operations using unit vector representation. A unit vector is a vector that has magnitude of 1 with no units. It only, its only purpose is to point or describe a direction in space. Unit vector is denoted by a caret symbol. So there are three special unit vectors you need to know. First is unit vector i. i is a unit vector. It points into the x positive x direction. And j is unit vector that's pointing to the positive y direction. So k is a unit vector that point, uh, points to the positive z direction because they are all unit vectors, so the magnitude of all these vectors are 1. So this is a picture to show you the unit vector. Now, vectors can a representation in terms of unit vector. Once we have the unit vector, we can represent any vector in terms of unit vector. This is how. So, for example, if you have vector A, A has three components, AX, AY, AZ. So A essentially is the addition, is the sum or the resultant of three vectors, the vector AX plus vector AY plus vector AZ that add together equals to A. Now, what is AX? AX is the magnitude AX times I. What is vector AY? Ay is the size of Ay, the magnitude of Ay times j. That's the j is the direction of a, a vector Ay. Similarly, vector Az is Az times k. So any vector has three components can be written as this. And this is a vector Ax plus vector Ay plus vector Az gives you vector A. Now, obviously, in two dimensions, you don't have k because az equals to 0, so a equals ax i plus a y j. Now, let's represent vectors in polar form to change it to unit vector form. So we have three vectors. We did this uh, example before in um, 1.8 in last video. So vector A is this, 7.2 meters at 32 degrees. You see this magnitude and direction? This is called a polar form. Polar form is give you a magnitude and an angle. The angle indicate the direction. So here's B and C. What we did first was we changed the angle with only with a positive x. So it's easier for us to find the components. So A is 72.4 at 58 degrees. Remember 58 degrees, 58 I got from 90 minus 32. And here is 216 because that's 180 plus 36. And over here is going down 270. So from here, we can figure out the X and Y components by using the x components is the magnitude times cosine theta, and the y component is the magnitude times sine theta. Once we have the x and the y component, we can find vector a. Vector a is the sum of vector ax plus vector ay. Now, ax is the vector ax is just 38.37i. I wrote over here 38.4 because I want to use three sig figs. I plus 61.4j. So this is a vector A. Now similarly, you can do vector B. They are both negative and a vector C. So that's how you change vectors from polar form to unit vector form. What is the magnitude and direction of vector? We did this before. So here is a vector in unit vector form. To find the magnitude, we use Pythagorean theorem. To find direction, we use inverse time, 10. Now, sometimes you will be given a vector in three dimensions. In three dimensions, we use the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude. It is a little bit tricky to find a direction, and we're not going to talk about that. 
in this uh, lesson. Adding vectors using vector a uh, unit vector representation. Suppose you have vector a plus b, you want to find it, the result in s. But in this case, a is in the vector unit vector form, so is b in the unit vector form. How do you add this? Remember, add vector by components. We're doing the same thing. S is basically the vector Sx plus vector Sy. How do I find Sx, the magnitude of it? We use Ax plus Bx. And a vector Sy, the magnitude is Ay plus Bi, right? So Sx equals to this, Sy equals to that. So S is Sxi plus Syj. The magnitude, use Pythagorean theorem, and here's the direction. Now, determine the resultant of the following vectors. How do we add vectors? We have these three vectors in the unit vector form already. How do we add it? Remember, we add all the x components together, and we add all the y components together. This is the x components. This is the y components. The resultant is your rx, vector rx, plus vector ry. That's it. To find a magnitude, Obviously, we use Pythagorean theorem. To find a direction, we can use inverse 10 to give you the angle. But this is sufficient enough. Now, let's take a look at next example. Is the vector a equals i plus j plus k a unit vector? Well, unit vector has a magnitude of 1. Does this vector have a unit uh, magnitude of 1? Answer is no because this vector has a magnitude of square root 1 plus 1 plus 1 has a square root of 3. Now, can a unit vector has any component with a magnitude greater than unity? The answer is no. Why is that? Because the magnitude equals to, remember, ax squared plus ay squared plus az squared. If any of them is bigger than 1, then the magnitude has to be bigger than 1. So then that's not a unit vector, right? Can it have any negative uh, components? The answer is yes. So even this one is negative, can be negative as long as it is small. So all everything added together equals to one. So unit vector cannot have any components with a magnitude greater than unity because a unit vector has a magnitude of one. It can have negative components as long as the resultant has it a magnitude of 1. Next question. If a equals to coefficient a times 3i plus 4j, where a is a constant, what is the value of a that makes this vector a a unit vector? Well, for unit vector, its magnitude has to be equal to 1. Now, how do I find the magnitude of this vector? Magnitude is a times 3 squared plus 4 squared. And that has to be equals to 1. So a equals to 1 over 5. Now given two displacement, uh, d equals to this, e equals to that, what is the magnitude of 2d minus e? Well, first step is to find 2d. Remember, we, the one vector times scalar, we just scale it. So 2d is 12i plus 6j minus 2k meters. Now what, what is 2d minus e? 2d minus e, you just use 2d i minus i, j minus j, k minus k. So 12 minus 4, that's the first, that's the i component. Next one, 6 minus negative 5. Next one is negative 2 minus 8. So your answer is 8i plus 11 minus 10k meters. So that is the magnitude of this. Uh, that's the resultant vector. What is the magnitude? A magnitude, you use Pythagorean theorem. You add everything together, you should have 16.9 meters. Last slide. Test your understanding. Arrange the following vectors in order of their magnitude with a vector of largest magnitude first. So how do we find a magnitude? Ax squared plus Ay squared plus Az squared. Since they have the same components, different signs. So this A is the same. So they are all the same. 
That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.